Man, he's certainly an unusual situation. Uh, when were you first approached for uh, by Miami about coming back? It all happened very quickly. It was really the middle of the day Sunday um, when I found out that Coach Rick retired. That was that was a shocking, you know, pill to swallow. It was out of it was out of nowhere. I don't think anybody expected it. And then it was really a rapid succession of events that that no one could have predicted. You know how it happened, and it, it was. It was able to be turned around very quickly, and uh, and 48 hours later, here we are. What was the most difficult part of making that decision as quickly as you'd taken the head coaching job to go back to what to what obviously is a dream job for you? Yeah, it's it's you don't feel good about it. It's um, it's an issue we have with our calendar because unfortunately, job changing season matches with recruiting season. So there's always this uh, urgency to make these changes happen very quickly. And, and, and the changes, of course, don't always occur at the same time. And, um, and it's hard to do right by everybody. Uh, but this was the one. I mean, there, there's no other job that could have come open. This is the one scenario that uh, if it had broken this way, and that's, that's, you know, that's why it was just, it was remarkable how it happened. I, I will say this about Temple. Um, they have an outstanding athletic director in Pat Kraft. They've got a locker room with a team that's ready to compete for the championship this next year. Whoever gets that next job at Temple is going to win, and, uh, and, and, and there's a lot of great things coming up for the Owls. Hey, man, let's go back to Miami. You grew up around uh, the area. You know Miami inside and out growing up as a, as a youngster and right. went to Florida State, around Bobby Bowden, Chuck Amato. You, you're very familiar with that state. And the, and the bar's been raised, not just with Miami and Florida and Florida State. You got UCF that's playing good football and, and everything that uh, Charlie Strong's trying to do in Tampa. What's missing? What, how can Miami get back to the consistency of being a perennial power, not just in the ACC, but nationally? What do you got to do? That's a great question, and, and, and I go back to what we did defensively when we got here three years ago. Um, we had to change the culture, and we had to put in a defensive scheme that allowed our guys to play like Miami Hurricanes. And, and that, that visual you know, goes back to, to the 80s, and there was a certain style of play, which really starts in youth football down here in South Florida. You know, the, the, the way the kids are trained, the way they're taught, uh, the way that high school football is down here. Uh, for Miami to be successful, you, everyone knows that there's great athletes down here. Every college in the country comes down here to try to, to pilfer them away from us. But you gotta let the guys go and you gotta let the guys play the way they've played since you know, they were six years old um, you know, out on the fields down here in South Florida. So you know, we tried to create a, a culture of playing fast, tough, violent, things that just are embedded in, in, in the youth football here. And now it's important that we expand that to the entire culture of the entire football team, that, that offensively, special teams, defensively, it reflects what a Miami hurricane should look like. And that's, that's a big statement because that's a very high standard that was set by some outstanding coaches and players that came through here um, many moons ago. Manny, you're obviously very familiar with the strain that the offensive difficulties at Miami has put on the Hurricanes defense. With that in mind, what are you looking for in an offensive coordinator? What will it look like stylistically and schematically? Well, if you think about it, what we are on defense and what we've created on defense, it would only stand to reason you'd want to create the same thing on offense. So you want a defense that's aggressive. You want a defense that's attacking. You want a defense that causes problems for the other team. A uh, defense that, that is simple enough where the, the kids can play fast. Well, philosophically, then you should want your offense to be the same way. We want something that's, that's aggressive attacking, um, that creates mental stress for the defense that we're playing. I, I will say I've been, I've been humbled and, and really blown away by the potential offense coordinators that have reached out, and I'm, I'm very excited about you know, the, the hire that we're going to be able to make, and I think it's going to be a, a, a major shot in the arm um, to the kids in the locker room, to the kids that we've already have signed in the early signing day period, and the kids that we're still going to recruit here uh, leading up to February. I can't think of anything better than for you to announce the hire right now, so go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Not so. <laughs> hey, can I steal this line? Not so fast. <laughs> hey, Manny, Manny, congratulations. I wish you all the best in Miami. Look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs> Reese, guys, thank you so much. Happy New Year.
Happy New Year to you, Manny Diaz, the new. It's a good try. You had good. Yeah, it's a good hey, try. You got to you know? try. You got to swing. Especially when he said it. He, 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 he was talking about playing aggressively, yeah. and, you know, like you've been coached the <laughs> whole time. So, so let's go. I, I, I just worry we're going to have to give the bear a raise to make sure that he's not, you know, director of football ops down there at Miami. Exactly. Now. A bear, a Miami graduate, close to the program. You know it well. What do you think of the hire? I, it's under the situation, the circumstances that you've got. It probably worked out about as good as it could. Uh, bringing back a guy who it almost felt like Manny leaving to go to Temple to be a head coach was almost like go be a head coach for a couple of years and then come back when Mark Rick is ready to retire. So I think it kind of sped up the process. But I think if you look at where they are recruiting and all the decommits that they had probably as a result of Manny leaving. Hey, Bear, uh, yes, yes, sir. Bear the crowd, the, the fan base. What kind of oh. offense do they want to want to run? I think they, 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 they had oh, a good they, enough defense. No, they, 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 they're going to want something that is – pass-based oriented. I don't know if they're going to want full-blown air raid like a lot of teams, but maybe something like Larry Fedora, North Carolina, great offensive mind. He could be someone that you might want to look at as a coordinator. Wait, why are you smirking? What? <laughs> why am I smirking? Man. I'm just throwing names out there. I, I, what do, I don't know anything. Hey, hey by, the, by the end of this show, Bear's going to Bear's gonna get uh, Fedora to Miami's office coordinator. I'm going to have Rodriguez at West Virginia. The head coach. We're gonna have all I was going to say, we all got some percentages. It'll be good. You know, we talk, Bear and I were talking about this yesterday. Miami will need some balance, but I, I think he's right. The fedora type thing, even uh, the type of offense that Oklahoma State has run recently where it's an air raid base, but you're able to run the ball out of it too. Yeah, I, it fit the I, talent. Think with, yeah, the, I think so. with the tradition yeah. there, I, I agree, some kind of air raid, but with the physicality right, right. because they can recruit running backs that are NFL caliber yeah. running backs. Mm -hmm. I love hearing Manny Diaz talking about Pee Wee football. I mean, th this is a young head coach. Great, by the way, great uh, Pee Wee football coach right here. <laughs> right here. Yeah. If you're looking, I get excited. I get excited, I get excited anybody looking for a great Pee Wee football coach, this guy right here. Right here. Oh, but honestly, the, the, and you know, living down there, yeah. Pee Wee football down there, yeah. and it and it breeds a different competitor yep. in the middle school and then yeah. into high school. And the fact he's already plugged into that yeah, exactly. tells you how he's going to recruit. 